This week I'm looking at some Chi Sao uh, Master Rip Chun is playing at the VTAA and I think one of the, I think you can really see in this clip that there's, or not see in this clip, that there's so many things going on that uh, it, it's quite hard to pick apart so you might say he responds with Bong Sao, he responds with Tan Sao but what's happening is uh, he's continually uh, seeing ahead what's going to happen remaining uncommitted and he's completely in control of distance and angle and using small amounts of energy when he needs it. So all, all of these things feed into the fact that he's doing a bong sao but it's if you see the really precise angle he does his bong sao maybe he angles his body slightly differently maybe he moves out you know half an inch um, so it's all done so precisely and with such good tactical vision that it all looks easy because it just looks like he lifts his bong sao or turns a tan sao but all the things that go on kind of unseen unless you know what you're looking for give it this sort of this look that he's not really doing much which I guess shows how good he is but just as we go through the clips just look for all these all these li little things that really make it work Okay, so in the initial exchange, you see Seagong's partner uh, try and uh, cross and trap his arms. He does this by, as he rolls, his partner's left hand just pushes Seagong's hand across the center line a little bit so that the partner's left hand can come up the middle and try and cross Seagong's left hand and trap him. However, this is countered by Seagung lifting Bong Sao and feeding his Tan Sao in. So as the Lap Sao comes, he lifts his Bong Sao and the Tan Sao comes up the middle to counter and cover the opponent's striking hand. So the Lap Sao is countered by the Bong Sao and the strike is coming and there comes Seagung's Tan Sao, which he thrusts forward to cover. Here we see the partner try and move around Seagung, and he counters it with a very slight change in structure. So he changes his Tan Sao to Bu Sao, which means the elbow turns out slightly to cover around the outside, and you can see the hand turn over, pointing towards, pushing his attention towards the partner. So as the partner comes forwards and tries to go around, Master Ip Chun is going forwards towards him. The more the partner tries to come around, the more Seagung drives his Bu Sao forwards to cover. Now it doesn't matter how hard the opponent applies his Lap Sao, Seagong's right hand just goes forward and collapses both hands. So essentially, the harder he does the lap sao, the more he pulls Seagong's bu sao towards him. Here we see one of Seagong's common responses to his partner uh, when he tries to lap sao either one of his hands. This consists of lifting the relevant elbow into bong sao and supporting with the other hand in a very specific way. Here you can see that Seagong's left hand is on the outside, just on the outside of the partner's left hand. And what this means is both of his hands are on the outside of the partner's hands. You can see that with the Bong Sao hand and Seagung's left hand, which is a Wu Sao structure, but he's got his fingers pointed towards the partner, just to give a little bit of more forward momentum. This means that the partner can't get inside of Seagung's hands, so he's forced on the outside gate, which is, once again, Seagung stacking the deck, forcing him onto the outside, and making him more predictable. Now Lap Sao on the other side, this time we'll bring Zigong's left bong sao up and he throws his bu sao forwards. This is to cover the partner trying to come around as he tried to do before. And also once again he's collapsing 
the partner structure. If Seagung wanted to counterattack, he could do easily here by turning the bu sound to a lap sound, striking with the other hand. Quite often he leaves this out and just defends and doesn't put the attacks in until he's had enough and just throws it all forward. Simple mechanics and clever tactics make Seagung's partner predictable and that's what gives Seagung's defense the impression of being impregnable. The partner tries to move to the outside and collapse Seagung's Bu Sao with a Pak Sao. Now Seagung counters this by following the center and using a little bit of Gung Lik to nullify the Pak Sao. This continues as the partner is kept continually on the outside by Seagung, occasionally pushing his Bu Sao forwards. Watch how Seagung allows things to open up, allows himself to be opened up, but it's all on his terms. You can see him monitoring the hands that he knows are going to come forwards. So you see as the, right, the partner's right hand come forwards, Look how Master Iptran's right hand elbow stays very close to the center as he monitors and controls both hands coming forwards. So it goes from a position of openness to complete control. Here we see Seagong countering a Pak Sao using Gong Luk again. Notice the subtle squaring up of the shoulders and the Wu Sao coming back for safety as well. So the squaring up of the shoulders is necessary to make the structure correct so we can apply the gung lick going forward and notice the effect it has on the partner's structure. You can see him being subtly collapsed by the bu sao going forwards. Here the opponent tries to open up Seagung for an inside pak sao attack. He opens up the center and then pulls back his right hand to clear the path of the pak sao. At this point you can see Master Ipchen clearly knows what's going on. You can see the slightest flicker of a smile and you can even see his left hand fingers twinge a little bit as he knows what's going to happen. partner knows that as soon as he packs out with his left hand it releases Seagung's right hand and then it will come forward. So as soon as it does he's ready and executes bong lap against it. And of course Mark Stripture encounters by going forwards with Quan Sao. Watch the opponent's left hand. He tries to execute a punch to go over, top, over the top of the bong sao. Here it comes. Seagun so counters with his tan sao. Now it might seem that it's open. My strip chun seems very open to that right handed punch. But of course, as soon as the partner moves, Seagun's going to move as well. So due to the timing, he's going to be able to recover. But the partner opts for Pak Sao instead and Seagun covers with a Bu Sao turning into a Tan Sao. Watch how Seagun controls and dominates, even though he's supposedly being defensive. Controlling the space, making the partner move around him, using combinations of Gung Lik positioning to make the partner predictable, force the partner to use more energy than him 